Hello, before I start the video, I would like to say thanks to Valve Japan that borrowed the device for me to create this video. Thanks for you. Hey, hello everyone, nice to see you again. I'm Freeze. In this video, I will show you that it is a CityLink IOLink Master that comes from Valve. And I will connect it with the BCBC CityLink uh, CityLink Master module to config a IOLink network. Okay, I hope you like this. Let's start. Okay, here is the corporation that I'm using this time, and it is the main characters in my video here. It is the Ironing Master CC Link that comes from Valve. In here, the red cable is a CC Link cable connecting to the CC Link Master in Mitsubishi, with Mitsubishi. And here's the power cable, and you can see here there is a small display window. Now it's showing zero one. It means now the station button number is zero one. Then you can press the S button. Then the display will be turned on the LED. Then you can press the this button. Then they change the P five. P five is mean the profile number. In this module, the P zero to P five to define that how many member area that is using in this setting. By each profile, they have different setting in the cycle and the extend station. I'll explain it in the GX box. Don't worry too much. And here, then how to set it? And you just put, uh, long press the S button. Then now you see the P five is being flash. Then you can press this button to change the uh, profile number. Average finish. You just put long press the S button again to save it, and then you just press it again. And then you press this button again. The here is the firmware that is displaying here. You press one more time, they're showing zero 01. As I mentioned before, zero 01 is the station number. Then you pr uh, long press the S button. Now the zero 01 is fresh. Now you can change your station number. And you press the S bottom again. Now here is a small line bottom. The small line is flashing. Now you can press this button to change the transmission speed. Okay, and then here you see I'm connecting a input sensor. Input sensor. And here you see four LED is is in green color, and this V port is flashing in green and this one is turned on. What does it mean? If this sensor is fresh if this lamp is turned is flashing in green, it means this port is convicted as a outing port but no outing sensor is convicted. Or the outing sensor is some problem. And in here you see the green bottom that the green LED is turned on. It means this port is convicted as the outing port and also communication with the ion sensor okay and by this four port this four port one two three four you can config it as input or output and this four port you can config it as input output or ion link port you can see here there's a loading icon here one two three four and here if my see uh need to see plc and here is the main, the sitting master module. Okay, let me let me shift to the GXbox project to see how to config it. Okay, now I build the network. I config all the modules that is working on the sitting network is normal. And here is the outing master of sitting the company Baluf. And here is the sitting master from Mitsubishi. You can go to GXbox and Dynamics. Seceding dynamics, and then you the system you have to scan all the node in the network. Then you see the first one is come from Balov, ping, ping pong. Okay, so I will point out some important things that when you configure the seceding network. First of all, is the parameters PLC parameters. Here, then you can see I config a module in the slot. 3, 0, 1, 2, 3 with 32 points and start from 100 so what is that? actually when you see the module here then it's just count it 
zero one two three four zero one two three four so it's this one you need to configure this one actually h1 is your seasoning good master and what's the one number of 100 this is a very important number and you need to match it 100 percent exactly to the network parameters if you see my wago tutorial with seasoning couple then you will know what i say but don't worry i'll say one more time just open the seasoning network parameters and go to seasoning here the start io number is exactly set to 100 that's what you set in the plc parameters okay and then the type is master then memo version is two version two seasoning and i connect only one station is baluf uh seasoning io ring master and the remote our input that is it means the I uh, the input signal from slave is start from x500 the y500 is the signal sent to slave is start from y100 and our wr is the data is a read from read from the device from the, the slave is start from w500 and finally the data that write the slave is start from 600 and then how can we config the station of the power of Go into the slow down to see a system information setting. Click it. Then here you see this will start from version two and with eight times set eight times cyclic settings with station three. So what is that? If you go to the bulb menu, then you see as then you remember I said P5 the the profile five in the module. So reference from the menu that you will see that. P5 is mean using version 2 with free station and extend cycle 8. So this is the right reason I said the extend cycle is 8 and with free station. Not difficult things, just reference the menu. Okay, after you configure the sitting network, now I will show you how I program it. Actually, I very like to program to create a structured data type first and then define the structured data type the variables of this digital uh, structure data type and then file name to use it in the program it's very helpful you to reuse your program so i'll just uh, make a small beefing for this the, for example the first one this one is the more the data structure data type that i used the last time with the wago tutorial so i just copy and the, copy and paste here to use it again and here is the mapping that i reference the part of menu for each port status and dynamic status and error or not then how to enable the uh outing channel or something uh, don't worry i'll explain to be more in the in my blog so you just go for it just go for it and um, here is also some handshake flag between my ceiling master to the powerful ceiling outing slave okay so and then i create two function block the first one is to handshake it the handshake data between my seasoning master to butterfoot and the second one is for the ioning sensor okay let's see the first one when i open the program that's only of three lines okay let me turn off the off night pro online monitoring then it also is auto reset then it when the ceiling master is okay and a error signal come from the bottom then i will directly reset it just auto reset the second one is when the sitting master says okay and if the module give us a insulate data request and now we would like to configure again then we'll configure it finally we will put uh, output the remote signal back to the function outside the function block and easy no difficult things and then the second one is the sensor. It's the outing sensor that I always use for the outing tutorial. That the first one I do can I will not explain here too much because that's some programming. And if you want to see more, you can also reference to my last IOLink tutorial of Ethernet IP and Povinet. I explained too much in there. It's just a some swift bit and, and logic. Finally, I call it in my program. And then first, for example, first of all, I will call, I will configure data, for example, which port I want to use. I'll use port 0 and port 1 as output, and I'll enable all the IOLing channel. 
Finally, I will call my IO link sensor function block, and then I will also call the handshake function block. Easy, not difficult. So now I will show you what is the result. Okay, hold on here. Okay, you see now here is my, um, I'll say how, here is my CCLink uh, Balafu data. And go to here, so, and uh, just let the monitor here, see how much tag is scanned. Go to here, here is my outing sensor. I'll go to this part. Now I only have one, okay. Then you see, only have DB tags, you only have one, so it means only one tag is scan detect. So if I put one more here, I scan it, you it, it'll be two. Now because the two plate our FID is on this sensor. Finally, put one more. It's free, just easy. Okay, so if I, um, I now I will turn on the output to let you see the result here. I just go to Y0 to turn on the first one. Then you see the first one, the alarm you turn on, and then the second one, you also turn on. So when I turn off both sides, then you see both sides turn off. So it, it's a very short tutorial, but I hope you like this. I hope you, you know how to use CCLink IO Master with Baluf. And if you have any questions, please comment and just give me a like if you really like my video. And thank you. See you next time. Bye bye.